Good morning and welcome to the Kindergarten Weekly Updates. In Kindergarten, we focus on skills like communication and language. It is important for students to be able to express themselves through speech. We prepare them for this through activities like show and tell. Teachers will inform you parents if there is a show and tell happening and you need to help the child learn few lines to speak in school regarding a particular object or a topic that has been shared by the teacher. Our Kinder Star Innovators Day was a big hit. Thanks to you all parents for helping students to prepare the models or projects at home on the topic given reduce, reuse, recycle, save our earth, save our planet, save trees and all that is related to keeping our environment safe and healthy for us to live. So thank you once again for taking your time and helping our children to learn because when I asked them during my rounds, I understood children were really, really able to speak of what they had worked on. And we loved the different things that you helped them to make at home, like pen stand out of the water bottles and some beautiful wall hangings out of some reused material like paper or plastic. It was definitely a wonderful display in our KJ2 corridor. And I hope you would have seen that on our Facebook as well. Usually, we also share circulars if children have to prepare something from home. But parents, please remember, all the students will not get a turn to speak on the very day of the event. It might happen over the whole week. And that is the reason that we divide children over the week so that everyone gets enough time and opportunity to say what they have prepared. And at the same time, you can also send the lines which you have helped them with to the teacher so that even the teacher can help them at home. In our pre-KG classes, students learn to compare objects and identify which is tall and which is short. They used objects in the class and also made towers using blocks and compared them. They continued their fine motor skill activities using hands-on objects and resources like links, pegs and blocks. In KG1, students listen to the story Pete the Cat and they learn to do the sequencing of the story and some related activities. In math, they learn sets. They learn to make sets with different attributes like with colors or different shapes and objects. Example, they made sets of red color, they made sets of blue color, they made sets of fruits and vegetables and they also learn to compare that which set has more objects and which has less number of objects. In UW, they learned about feelings and emotions. It is a very wonderful topic where students get to identify different emotions like being angry, being happy, being sad and they also know how the expressions on the face changes. At the same time, it is important for us to express how we feel. So students learn to express themselves through different emotions. In KG2, students learn to differentiate between objects and materials and identify different things around them, whether that is an object or a material. For example, chair is an object, but wood is a material. So likewise, they try to differentiate between different materials and objects around them. Students will continue to learn more about materials and objects in the weeks to come. They also learned to describe the characters and settings of the story using proper vocabulary. They have been taught the concept of tens and ones. I hope most of you are aware how we teach in school as we had shared during the numeracy workshop. Literacy week which was actually planned for next week is now postponed and we will be informing you through circular when it will be scheduled next. So parents, please check your horizon for any updates and the circulars as it will not be shared to you on your personal email ID. So this is all from my side for this week. Thank you for listening to me. Have a wonderful week ahead. Bye for now.